happy Monday to you. Thank you for being here. I'm going to put my makeup on for the day. Um, how are you this morning? I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm just going to go do my thing using my baby sensitive. A little bit of that. A little bit of the beach bay. This is what I'm doing right now in my life. So, so how are you? Did you have a good weekend? I had a pretty good weekend. I did, oh, I did not go to the parade like I wanted to, but I did get to spend some time with my mom that I was telling you about at um, the Christmas concert. It's actually called Messiah, and it's from um, like the 1700s. And I had actually been to it in the past, and I think I just wasn't in the right frame of mind or something. Because if you're not, it can be a little bit like, oh my gosh. Because we're so used to different music. There was even a harpsichord they were playing. And it was like, twing, twing, twing. I mean, with an orchestra. <clears throat> but this time I had a songbook. And... Um, I tried to sing along with some of them. Most of them I could not. But I just tried to follow along. Because I wanted it to be over. To be very honest. Mm. Do you have your tea or your coffee? Or your water? Um, so, but following along, it made it go a lot faster. And it was much more enjoyable too. All right. So, and then let's see, what else did I do? Well, tonight we have our grandson's basketball game. I'm looking forward to that. He is going to be 13 years old on Tuesday and he is wonderful and he's very athletic. All three kids are super athletic, which is a lot of fun. I remember when my youngest daughter, she was in volleyball and I remember what it was like to sit there and like when they were so young that they weren't able to volley the ball back and forth. It was a little bit hard to watch sometimes. And I remember how fun it was and exciting when um, they volleyed the ball back and forth. You know what I mean? And then they, because they were having more fun too. So I bought a new palette. I'm going to show you. It's Elf. I'm going to open it. That would be the easiest thing. So I'm going to try it with you. And I have a lippy to try with you as well. So this is what it looks like. Mm, I thought those were really nice colors. The one that I had was the, the, the matte, so this is the difference. The matte's on top, and the new one's on the bottom. Now, the new one is called Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette, so that should be fun on the fly with you guys. Put a little bit of my trusty, you know what I'm going to do. I did like it when I, this is the, you know, the Fit Me that I always use. The 120, the Dewey. Um, and I did actually kind of like the, I don't like it by this by itself. Do you remember me telling you that? But I do like it mixed with what I've got. Because it kind of gave it a little more coverage. But it wasn't like using that this by itself. Mm. So, how is the weather where you're at? Is it cold? I like it cold. Um, do you snow ski? Or snowboard? I snow skied once. <laughs> I think I would do it again. I don't know if I could snowboard. I suppose I could. We always water skied, and I was in that generation of water skiers, and I haven't been water skiing really since I've been married. Um, I grew up with that, with my dad driving the boat. Um, but my ooh, my experience with snow skiing was pretty comical. It was actually my dad. We were, I don't know how old I was. I think I was like in eighth grade or something. And we, uh, he was really great about wanting my sister and I to experience things, which I really love that. And he wanted us to, I always like to pat it in. 
He wanted us to experience snow skiing. He didn't do it himself, but he watched us from down below the hill. And um, so it was just my sister and I, and he had us take lessons. And there was what was called the bunny hill. Hmm. And we were going down the bunny hill after our little lesson. It was not very long. And um, we, we thought that we were pretty good. We thought, this is boring. This little bunny hill. Look at those people coming down that bigger hill. And it was the intermediate hill. It was not the advanced. <laughs> it was the intermediate hill. And I had brand new blue jeans on. And they were probably like Gloria Vanderbilt or something. I don't know. Jordache or something. Oop, I just hit my phone. Anyway, I'm just trying to dry this a little bit. And uh, everywhere I fell, because I fell a lot, there would be blue patches in the snow. Because really, people don't wear blue jeans to go, to go uh, snow skiing. But I did, because I didn't know any better. And this was just a one-time deal, truly a one-time deal. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer that I've used in my previous videos too. And um, so we decide, my sister and I decide that we're gonna do this intermediate hill. And <clears throat> it was the kind that you have to, it wasn't like you sit down, you know, like a chair lift. It was more like a chair pulley. So it had like this disc with this rope, this heavy duty rope that hung down and, and there's like this disc that you, that you, I thought at the time, sit on. And I was behind my sister and I, the first thing I did was when it was my turn, I didn't know any better, truly didn't know any better, is I sat on this pulley. So you're not supposed to sit on it, the disc, you're supposed to just put it behind, you know, between your legs and let it pull you up the hill. Well, this was a terrible day for me, honestly. So there's blue patches all over the all over the snow. There's lots of people, lots of kids, lots of people, you know, <laughs> snow skiing and I, I'm leaving blue patches everywhere. Which was embarrassing because I was probably the only one besides my sister. She probably had blue jeans on too, but I don't think she was falling the way that I was. And um it was obvious that it was me. She's been there, she's been there. Oh look at she fell there. Look at all the times that she fell. Um and uh, so what I did, instead of putting that, that disc between my legs and just letting it pull me up, I'm like holding onto the rope and letting it pull me up. I sat on it. So then I ground into the snow, like in circles. They had to stop the whole thing. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And, uh, that was humiliating, but I kept going. And I'm like, okay. And I did it right. And the next time I got on there and I had another chance. People, and the thing is, is I think the very worst part was not that I was learning as I was falling and learning as I was <laughs> grinding into the snow because I sat on the disc. It was that people like, kids were ticked off. Like they were mad. They Nobody was really helpful. They were more like, uh, 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 you know. And I feel like if people would have said, it's all right, get up, you've got this, you know, then, I, then the experience would have been better. But alas, they did not. So I'm gonna use this little um, pal palette that I've used before. I go into the wax, into the lighter, and then I get a little bit of the, of the dark. And so, so that wasn't so great, right? having that happen that's embarrassing I mean when you're in like eighth grade or 13 years old um that's really embarrassing I may have been a freshman but I think I was 13 I don't think I was older than that and so um that's not all <laughs> so we we I do this one time right so the first time ground into the snow second time I thought okay I got this got on it seemed like the hill was very steep. It really did. Like it seemed, you know, when you're down below, it doesn't seem so high. But when you're up there, it feels high. Did I already do this one? I think I already did. Um, and I go, 
So there's my eyebrows. I'm behind my sister and I'm being pulled up this hill the correct way. And there's like a dip at the top where everyone kind of, they, they somehow get the thing out from between their legs and they all kind of, woo, like they kind of like lose their footing or something. Not that they're on feet or on skis, but you know what I mean? Like they lose their balance. And I thought, I'm not going to let that happen to me. I, I'm not going to get to that point. I'm going to let go before, before that happens to me. I'm not going to, I don't want that to happen. So my sister, she lets go and, woo, and she does her thing. And then she, she's able to, you know, keep going. And I'm like, okay, I'm almost there. And I take it from underneath me <laughs> between my legs. And I, this is when all the kids and the workers, the teenagers that are working there and everything, they start getting really mad at me because I'm starting to go backwards. And all these kids that are on the, the pulley that were behind me are starting now to pile on top of me. They're crashing into me angrily. <laughs> of course they're angry. I mean, and that is my ski experience. So then we're at the top because I did end up, I mean, I thought they're going to, I'm going to have to have like, like ambulance people come and get me or something. That's what I was thinking. So funny. I'm going to dry a little more while I'm talking. And, uh, and I remember my sister, if you watch this, you weren't very helpful that I remember. So I felt very on my own. And what I started feeling was ticked. I was just mad that the way the day had been going. And I think I needed to get a little angry so that I could get down that hill. Because up at the top, it was high. It was high up. I'm still using the Milani Sunkissed bronzer. It was high. It was like, what in the heck did we do doing this? I don't know. That bunny hill was just fine. And uh, I skied straight down that hill full, full, full speed. Like I didn't, um, remember I go into the hairline. Because um, if you go here and you don't even touch your hair, don't worry about touching your hair. I guess if you have blonde hair, that could be a problem. I don't have blonde hair. Um because it looks more natural. Because we know, whoa, we know this bronzer is some fake stuff. This is that little brush that I just used to kind of buff it in. And I went straight down. Oh, let me tell you something. So whenever I, when I was at the top and I said, I'm not going to go in that dip thing. I'm going to take this from between my legs before I get to that point. I'm so smart. <laughs> That's my blue patches all over the grass, ground, all over the snow. But I'm, I'm not going to, you know. I'm not going to do that, lose my balance thing. So all these kids are piling on top of me, and my my sunglasses get, get plastic sunglasses, of course, but they just, and they're like on the floor, on the ground. I had braces. They were shoved up into my gums. I mean, this was serious. <laughs> I was like bleeding on the on the snow. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that part. And, of course, nobody was there for me. And I think my sister was embarrassed when she was young, too. And it was like we were with a bunch of kids. I think the oldest kid was probably, the oldest person there was probably 19. So anyhow, I straight down. And at the bottom was my dad. And he, and I look at him and I smile and I have these braces shoved up into my gums. And I love my dad. I miss him so much. He's so cool. He's like, he just started laughing, you know. He's not like, what happened? And made me feel like, you know, or he didn't like get angry. Like, what are you doing? You don't belong doing that. Instead, he just laughed and he laughed all the way home. He'd look over at me as he's driving and he would just start busting up laughing. And then um, we got, I was able to go to an emergency dentist. So something else I bought was a fluffy eye blender because what I use right now is this guy right here. And it's, he's pretty packed full. He's not very fluffy. I mean, it's not, he's kind of, kind of stiff. Not stiff. The bristles are soft, but they're just a lot. So, ooh, I don't really need to cut that. I don't think. So, I bought myself a new elf brush. Ooh. It's very soft. See, the other one can't do that so much. It's, it's so packed full. This one's not. So, I'm excited about blending with this guy. Do you have any stories like that? I remember when sister, if you watch this, 
my sister, you'll remember this. When we were kids, my mom and my stepdad, we used to go water skiing with my dad and my stepmom, and then we would also go water skiing with my mom and my stepdad. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna do the blush. Oh, I bought a new blush. I'm gonna show you. And guess what it's called? Cheeky. Yes, that's right. Anyway, this is that Milani T Rose. This one put a little her, her, her. A little right there. All right. Yes, I bought a new cheek heat. So, and I'm gonna tell you about the water skiing thing. This is the other cheek. No, they're different. <laughs> I'm like, did I buy the same one? So this is the one I've been using, and there's this one. So look at that combo on cheeks. I mean, it's just so sunsetty. I feel like. Not that our cheeks are like the sun setting, but I remember when my baby girl was born and her skin, I said, she looks, she wasn't jaundice, but her skin looked like a sunset. And actually she kind of has her daddy's skin color, which is pretty. Um, anyway, so back to the water skiing. I'm on, so I, I'll open that. I'm gonna use this cheek heat first, my regular, regular one. That's in all my other videos. So, uh, ooh. so we went water skiing this time. I was with nothing like this ever happened with my dad, but my stepdad, it did. It only happened once with him. It could happen with anybody, I guess. Actually, it shouldn't happen with anybody, to be very honest, because it's very dangerous. We were on a reservoir, I guess, or lake, or I was pretty young. I don't know where we were. Reservoir. And I'm gonna pat this in. And um, my sister was skiing and I was in the boat with my mom, my stepdad, and probably a step sibling, whom I love. And um, he drove the boat too close to a dam, to the dam, there was a dam. So I guess it was a reservoir. Sometimes if I feel like I have too much of this on, like I kind of do, then I'll take like a paper towel or I don't have any Kleenex or tissues in here with me and I'll just dab it kind of, I don't rub or anything, but just kind of dab. I feel like it kind of helps a little bit. Hmm. I guess that looks right. So he drove, he drove the boat too close to the dam. I'm opening this. It's exciting. And the particular reservoir that it was. Oh, look. How did I open that before? I guess I need my glasses on. There was red dirt. And literally, he had driven the boat into, like, a foot of water or something. It was, a, it was an inboard, I believe. It must have been. And... My, my, no, was I skiing? Who was skiing? I don't remember. But my sister started screaming. I think she, I don't know, was I skiing? Anyway, it doesn't matter, sorry. I just know that I wanna get the story right. But regardless, whoever was skiing, well, there was all this red dirt flying everywhere and it looked like, like blood. And it wasn't, it was just dirt, thank God. And then whoever it was that was skiing, I can't remember, I'm putting a little bit of this on my nose. Do you like that color? It's my new cheeky color. So I'll tell you what they are. So the one that I always use that I've told you about before is Cheek Heat. Is it? Is it? One, a sh oh, it's a sheer gel. Do, do, do. I guess I don't know what color that is. I guess I never did. And this one. I don't know that one either. Let me look at the garbage real quick and see. Wait, do I have a package? Oh, this one. So the new one that I bought is number 30, Coral Ember. I don't think this will look good on me by itself. You know what I'm saying? But the combo. Let's warm these fingers up. Maybe that'll help meld it into my cheeks. The combination, I think, is what does it. I think it just looks pretty and natural. I don't know if it's natural, but we'll pretend. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna start on my eyes. So 
whoever was skiing uh, just literally stepped out of their ski and walked to the boat and picked up their ski. So it was very scary. <laughs> Those are my stories. So I have this guy here, this new one. And I think I'm going to um, use some of this, just kind of an all over, this one. I did not do my usual strobe stick, but I will, because I like it. This Milani eyeshadow primer is so good, and I don't really want to try other ones, because one thing that I really don't like is when, is when, um, it, uh, Creases, ugh, no fun, no fun. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I feel like it didn't really get on there. Kind of, I'm starting from the eyelid and going up. Like so. I hope you all have a great week. Merry Christmas again. Mm -hmm. Mm. All right. So I will take this brush that I always use for the crease area. And should I show you this or do you not really care? Because I don't know. So I'm going to use some of this. Oh, maybe I'll use, maybe I'll use this brush, which is really compacted. I'm going to get some of that dark. I think I'll pat like that. Kind of from the center out. I'm just gonna get some more. Party. There, now you just go about your day. And looks like it takes a couple times to get some of this on there. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm not super used to doing it like this. I'm going to use that fluffy, my new fluffy brush. And kind of, I think, I've never used this brush before. It's the first time it's ever touched my face. I think I'm going to use this one instead. <clears throat> No, I'm not. I'm using this one, which is just a kind of a flat. It's kind of a flat brush. This is the Frozen. I have two of them. Frozen from Frozen collection of some sort. I don't know. It's been a while since I bought them. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. Would I ever go skiing again, snow skiing? I don't know, I have no one to go with, first of all, and I I feel like I'll be so worn out, I have to get in a way better shape before I could ever do any of that kind of stuff. And, and I don't know, I mean, people love it. I have never wakeboarded either. I've only um, water skied, so I don't know if I could do it, even if I was in shape. I'm gonna take some of this right here. I'm gonna use my finger. It's pretty purple. <clears throat> this one. Actually, I hope I'm not taking too long for y'all. I think I've taken 20 something minutes. I can't really see 24 minutes or something. And I'm just gonna put it on there. 
I don't know. I like this pink. It's really pretty. Pinky purple. It's not pink. It's pinky purple. I do. It's pretty. But I don't know about that dark. I'm not feeling it. But you know what? I'm still going. I'm still creating. Are you putting your makeup on when I'm talking to you? When we're visiting? <laughs> so nice. So fun. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Pardon me. I, I just have issues that way. I'm always clearing my throat. I think I'm going to go with this, which is, it looks matte and kind of just work on that area a little bit. And I think I'm going to use a fluffy, the fluffy brush. Let's see. So I want you to see what it looks like up close. It looks muddy to me, like it needs a lot of blending. What do you think? And so I'm gonna take this. I'm not blending that fully right now, and I'm just gonna. I need to remember to turn my phone off. There, whew, I didn't. We won't be interrupted. All right. And let me take this one. This fluffy brush is actually super fluffy. I'm not used to it. It's nice, but it is super fluffy. I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, my Maybelline strobe stick real quick before. I'm going to do a little in the inside. Can you tell the difference? This eye has it and this eye doesn't. And then, whoops, what am I doing? On this side. I'll look at it closer in my truth mirror, my magnified truth mirror in a minute. Oh, I'm going to put a little here. All right. Here's the truth. Uh, looks pretty good, I guess. I think I should maybe rub it in a little more right here. My skin is starting to change. That's all right. All right. I'm going to really work it. Let's do that. I'm going to take this and just really blend it all. And you know, some eyeshadows are easier to blend than others. So, Elf, I don't know. <sighs> Dun -dun -dun. Hmm. I think what I'll do, though... Is I'm going to put a little of that dark underneath my eyes. Let's see what that's going to look like. Hmm. I bought a few palettes. <laughs> it was so fun. And they're cheap ones. But I'll show you. And then I'll do, do a couple videos on them. So I bought the e.l.f. one. Let me go ahead and do this before I forget. I'm always, I'm, I'm just trying to fill, say a lot. Well, I only have so much time. Okay. So, I thought it would be fun to get um, these, just because they were five bucks. It's Profusion. I don't know if you've ever heard of that before. I can't open it right now. I'll open it for the first time with you. But these are the two that I have. Do, do, do. Five bucks each. They might be terrible. We will see. So I, there's two, I don't like that. I need to do something else to that. So let's see, what would be good? Hmm. Out of all those colors. Hmm. Huh. I just feel like, I don't know, it needs to be blended more. Let me get my new blending brush. Hmm. Let me see. I think I'm just going to go over that. Mm. 
I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of this, I think. Just, it's a, it's a uh, matte. And try and kind of blend these two so that it's less of a line there. Can you tell the difference? Let's see here. Can you hear that chainsaw outside? There's always some outside. I can't help that part. So something else I want to do is maybe take a little of this for a little warmth. I like that warmth up here. I don't know, it's actually pretty dark. Much darker than my going to the Christmas concert last night. Glam up your daytime makeup look. Hmm. So, hmm. You know what? Mm. I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just work it out a little bit more. What time is it? I'm sorry. Past 30 minutes. Uh. I just want to be able to keep your, keep you till the end, you know what I'm saying? Keep your attention. Well, oh, I know what I'm going to do because this is going to take care of everything. I was telling you about this yesterday. This is L'Oreal. And I just do this. I just, mm. See, I don't usually put it right, um, right directly on my eyelid. Oh, <laughs> I just want it to kind of take over a little. Ooh, I might have got too much on that eye. Let's see. Well, I already like it better because I feel like it kind of brought them together more. Little. Have you guys been watching the news about those four Idaho um, Idaho, University of Idaho students that were murdered? It's just so heartbreaking. I just feel so angry about it. Hmm. There, my stuff falls on the floor. But that's all right. I don't need it anymore. Anyway, do you think that looks good? <laughs> I hope that they find the person that did that. I feel like it's muddy. A little muddy still. Maybe I need a little stronger brush. What do you guys think about that? Because for a while I thought, oh, that guy at the food truck, you know, he seems suspicious. This is what happens though. You know, our imaginations run wild and everything. I'm going to, I think it'll look a lot better once there's, once there's um, uh, eyeliner on. I'm going to get a little bit more of that dark color and put under my eyes. Bring it together. Bring it together. Bring it together. Well, I'll just have to gotta have it going on at the basketball game. It's so dark. That's all right. Okay. It's a look, you know what I'm saying? I think it's good to try different, try different uh, looks. <laughs> and it's a ways away, it's not for hours. So I'll probably, um, oh, I bought this too, I'm gonna show you. I've never used it, never opened it. So, um, 
it's hours away, so I won't feel like I'm going there looking like I'm going out on the town or something. I'm going to go ahead and use my chubby stick again. I really think it's smooth and I like it. This is the Wet n Wild multi stick, and it's black. And it would be nice if I had, if I maybe down the road, I don't know. I kind of just want to be organic with my with my channel, and just be, you know, I don't want to be boring, but like it would be nice if I could just like snap my fingers and come back and be like, okay. So I put my eyeliner on and I put my mascara on. I mean, that would be nice. But at the same time, I'm hoping that you'll think it's nice that it's just the way it is. Where we're like we're just together, you know, chatting getting ready for the day or just saying hello in the middle of the day or in the evening. <laughs> All right, and you know, if you've been watching my videos that I do like to put a little eyeshadow on the eyeliner. Oh my gosh, look at these colors in this. And then look at that. Oh, would I really use that? I probably would. Should I open it now? Oh, and there's those colors in the other one. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm using my scissors to open this, I think. Maybe I don't need my scissors. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. Sorry, it's already at 36. Gosh, I hope people watch it. I don't. Don't change the channel. I think it's fun when to to try this with you. You know. Okay. Bling. I have no idea if this is a good company or not. Profusion Cosmetics. All right, I'm going for it. <laughs> we got some blue hair that I could really have fun with. And here, I was worried about how dark my eyeshadow was. <laughs> Why worry when you can make it even more lively? That's what it is, lively, we'll say. Okay, guys, I hope it's good stuff. I'm sure it is. Okay, so this particular palette that I'm using is... Profusion, it's called Euphoria, and it's number 10 shade palette. And the color that I'm going to use is called Solstice. Here we go. All right. Okay, so hopefully that black didn't completely dry. I guess it probably did, but anyway. All right, so I'm just going to pat this Euphoria on here. Get a little more. Tap. Ooh. I might use a couple colors. You know me. You know me. All right. Look at that, would ya? How fun. I need to go out on the town more. So, I think it'd be cool to use maybe a little bit of this one. All right, so this one is called Futuristic. Let's do it. So what I like to do is I like to kind of start in the middle and inward, more like that. Like it's like it's changed colors from one to another. I need a little more. Mm. Hmm. Can you see it? I don't know if I'm getting too close. It's pretty wild. I think I think it's kind of fun, don't you? All right, so I'm going to 
take this brush, this one that's really packed full that I used to put to pat on that darkest color on my lids, and I'm gonna wipe it off as best I can on this towel here. And I don't like real defined uh, I should or you know lines, so I'm just gonna kind of rub it a little. And I'm gonna wipe that off. And then rub the other side a little. Okay. Oh, so now I'm gonna do mascara. Oh, I bought a new mascara too, jeez. I went to town yesterday. And I mean, I went to town and then I went to town is what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, I did go to town and then, so I, I, and then I went to town buying some stuff but I tried to do it economically. This right here, have you ever heard of it? I have not. It is called, uh oh, was it my glasses up? Oh, no, where are my glasses at? Oh, there they are. <laughs> All right, it is Maybelline and it's called, it's 801, very black. It's called Lass, not Lass, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Break this thing open. Started. Oh, it's probably similar to the other one. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it kind of has. It's got raised lettering, so it's kind of nice to hold on to. Okay. This is. It's kind of small. Let me show you the difference between that and the one that I was using. So this is the Lash Paradise that I compare to the Better Than Sex. So this is the new one, and this is the. Lash Paradise. So there is a difference. So I have to make sure I put these in the right deal. Okay. So funny the stuff that's exciting nowadays when you're a grown up. All right. So we're gonna I'm gonna wipe the end off. You know how that kind of sticks out sometimes. I kind of like this. I think it looks pretty. So so far. I, ooh, it's not clumping like that Paradise Lash stuff I've been using. And it, it's it's going to need a lot of coats, but I don't know if you can see it on the, I think, I, I worry that, that you can't really see me very good or what I'm doing very good with my, with my phone as the camera. And I'm gonna do underneath. I like it a lot for underneath because it's not clumping. The, la the other stuff really clumps. I don't think I'm gonna have to use that Q-tip core on here. Ooh, I like this. And it also has that feeling like it's not gonna be stiff, which I don't like. And, it, and I feel like I have control. Oh shoot, and I just got it all over my lid. Do I have any Q-tips around here? Mm. I just kind of lightly brush. That's good enough. So I do, like I said, I like to feel like my lashes are soft, long, as long as they can be soft, and I like to have control. Now this is my second layer and I like it a lot, actually. And I really do like the um, this to hold on to. I'm going to try and go down just to really coat them and come up. And I'm going to kind of close my eye and pretend like my lashes are super, super long. That it just, I have to brush my lashes like I'm actually brushing them. I always feel like it turns out better that way when I pretend that. <laughs> All right. Ooh. I do like it, I must say. I'm happy. That's awesome. I hope. I feel like this is a, f a flash in the pan kind of mascara because I've never seen it before. And a lot of mascaras, they come in, they, they go out, you know. Let me see if I don't get it on my eyelid. Yeah, I do. I like it. What do you think? <laughs> So again, it's called Sky High. It's from Maybelline. I like it. And you'll you'll see that you like this too because it's nice to hold on to. All right. Now I'm going to take all day. We're just going to hang out all day together, aren't we? 
So I want to tell you about this NYX lip butter. I better drink all my tea. Sorry. Mm. That's all I need. Thank you. It's delish. So I broke the seal. Let me see. Hmm. I broke the seal. Let me take it off. Otherwise, it's going to bug me. All right. What's weird about this, and kind of I hesitated to, to buy it. I felt like something happened. Um, is that, can you see the color, how it's kind of blue and then goes more green? I think that's really pretty. It reminds me of a mermaid. Um, is that when I bought this, I don't know if you can see it or not. But the lid is much different color. It's much of a different color than the product. But I'm like, you know what? It's not the lid. It should be the product color that you can see through a clear plastic deal. I'm not huge. I don't always use lip pencil or anything like that. So let's just do this. I do like the color. I really don't have much of a top lip or any lips. Hmm. It's called lip butter. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. I think I do. I like it because it's nice and light. And I think it looks pretty good with, with this eye makeup. Because it's light, but eye makeup's kind of... Mm dark all right so i should let you go i just want to hang out with you all day here we are <laughs> i i i'm just gonna take my hair down i think maybe i will wear it up today i don't know um i just want to say thank you so much for watching it's a lot of fun making these videos and trying all this um and i appreciate you hanging in there and waiting till the very end I hope you have an awesome week. Take very good care of yourself and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? All right. You take care. Okay. Bye-bye.